Hello everyone, I'm Cybercoder and as you can see we are not starting in Unity today. Actually we are not going to be in Unity at all today. Today we are just going to focus on Discord. Uh, because I have programmed my own Discord bot. Uh, now to begin with, if you don't know what Discord is, it's essentially Skype but much better. For a second of all, if you don't know what a Discord bot is, uh, it's essentially a bot for Discord. Fantastic explanation, I must say. Uh, but this Discord bot I have programmed and worked on over the last few days. Uh, and if you like this bot, uh, feel free to join my Discord server. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, we might do a Discord Nitro Classic giveaway sometime. <clears throat> uh, yeah, a link in description, as I said. And also, if you're new to this channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. It takes like two seconds and it's free and it supports me very much. And uh, while you're doing that, you can also hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, or if you dislike this video, of course, hit the dislike button. But okay, let's start. So I'm using the hosting service called Ho Host Sapling. They're actually the sponsor of this video. If you are interested in creating an on Discord bot, they could be the hosting service of choice for you. Uh, watch the entire video to get the free promo code at the end. But yeah, we're going to take a look at the commands you can use. Uh, the bot is also under constant development and in the Discord channel I will always notify if there's any new uh, commands that have been added or something like that. But okay, we're going to start at the most boring commands and move on to the more fun commands. The first command I'm going to show you is the ping command. Not with a big P, small P and ping. So, uh, if we run this command, uh, you need to have an ex exclamation mark because that's the prefix for this bot. Uh, because if you don't want to know what a prefix is, uh, there's probably a Wikipedia uh, explanation or something. I don't want to explain what the prefix is. Uh, that's uh, basic stuff. Uh, but yeah, you have to have the prefix and then the command. And if we uh, run this ping command, as you saw, we get the latency of the bot and a pong. Because you know, ping pong. Yes, yes, I know. Very funny. My humor sucks. Anyways, uh, that was not that interesting, but the next one might be a little more interesting. Uh, that is an 8-ball command. And the, if you don't know what an 8-ball is, it's essentially a randomizer. Uh, the randomizer can give you different answers, such as yes, no, maybe and like a uh, different uh, what should we call it different different meanings of yes yes very good explanation i know uh, but yeah as you can see here in the bot status bananas are tasty so the only logical question is to actually ask the bot if bananas actually are tasty so we have to type banana, see if I can spell today. And we need to put an R. Bana, bana, as, taste. Can I please spell today? Oh, bananas taste. And then just send it. And as you can see, we got the answer. Signs point to yes. So he wasn't actually lying. Uh, and then we can do... 8 ball are you sure about that and he doesn't want to tell me okay perfect uh, 
yeah but that is the eight ball command i'm sure you got uh, the meaning of it then the next command uh, or the next group of commands i should say uh, because uh, the group of commands we are going to take a look at are currency commands so we can start with doing balance uh, to see uh, our coin balance and as you can see I have used the bot a bit and I have uh, 629 coins in my bank uh, now there's one wallet and one bank you need to have money in your wallet for different things and money in your bank for other things uh, also you get the same result if you just do bell because that's easier than typing up balance just bell that works then to get money the easiest way to get started is to beg beg some money so as you saw we got 44 coins uh, you can get anywhere from 0 coins to 100 coins so the result isn't that good but it's 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 decent and then uh, you will be on a 5 minute begging break so if you do uh, beg again uh, you don't get any more money because if you could spam this uh, it would be a little bit overpowered so now we have begged and if we do valve you can see that we have 44 coins in our wallet now what can we do well for example we can play slots uh, so we do prefix slots and then 10 and the 10 is essentially how much uh, we want to bet so if you do this and press enter, we lost, sadly, uh, but I'm not one to be defeated. Please note, if you notice any gambling addiction, please discontinue using the bot immediately. Thank you. So we can do this again, uh, just to show that this works, if we lose, we of course lose 10 coins. All clear? Perfect. Let's do this again. Slots, slots, 10. I lost again. How is it possible? Okay, slots, 10. Can I stop losing, please? Okay, if we don't win now, I will be very upset. Slots. A bunch of table smashing later. I I lost again. I'm down at four coins. Perfect. Now we have zero coins in our wallet. Uh, now I said that you need a different. Uh, that you need to have coins in the wallet for different things and coins in your bank for different things to play slots you need to have money in your wallet because now if we do like slots 10 it's going to say that we don't have that much money and also if we do like slots negative 10 it's going to say that amount has to be positive so no cheating in any way uh, then also you can, of course, take out money that you have from in your bank to your wallet. So we can do with draw and then like 100. And then we can do like bell again and see that now we have 100 coins in our wallet and 529 in our bank. And if we want to deposit this again, you can do deposit or dep, that also works, and the amount, like that. And I'm going to with draw 10, and also show that deposit 10 works. And then just do bell, and it's fine. 
Okay, next command, you can actually send money to other people. So I tried to record before, uh, but the recording kind of got corrupt, so I'm recording again. But I sent 100 coins to my admin, uh, so he got so much coins last time, so I'm just going to send 50 to him this time. To send coins to someone, you have to do send and then tag them, so my admin is Mars. He's doing a great job by the way, shout out to him. And then the amount you want to send, so 50. And I sent 50 coins. To send money, uh, your money has to be in your bank. So now if you do well, you can see that we have lost. Or not lost, we have sent 50 coins. Awesome! Okay, so the next thing is a shop I want to show you. So, as you can see, I'm obviously too poor to buy anything, but if you want to buy something and you have uh, enough money to do it, you just do buy and banana, banana, and then how many you want to buy. So, if you want to buy 10, you just do 10, or if you just want one, you can just leave it like this. And then to show what everything you have you can just do bag and you can see i have i have owned banana and roflex watches uh, from earlier tests so that's why it's there uh, if you buy a phone or a gold bar that will also show up here and then you can also sell stuff for like 0. 9 times the price so you don't get 100% of the coins back and then the last thing with the economy commands is I think is rob and then uh, the one you want to rob now the guy that you're robbing has to have money in his wallet over 100 so I'm not sure, but I think uh, that Mars doesn't have any money in his wallet right now. So if you just try to rob him, a uh, friendly helper is going to stop you. Uh, because he's a friend and smart and intelligent AI, he claims. So, <clears throat> yeah, we can't rob him. Because... And Mars has all of his precious money in his wallet. No, sorry, his bank. Yeah, so that was all of the economic commands. If you have any questions about this, uh, join my Discord and just ask. You can ask anything. As you can see, we have lots of uh, nice channels here. And uh, so, uh, yeah, but okay, next command. Uh, the next command I'm going to show is meme. So, uh, we are going to ensure uh, that we get the best meme, so it takes a bit of time. And here we get a meme then. When the hero is about to fall off a cliff, his friend who disappeared at the beginning of the movie. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. I'm going to have to blur this image here because it it, it is a bit unrelevant. So uh, that's going to be blurred. Uh, we can just show off this command as well, the clear command. So we can do clear, and then how many messages we want cleared. So. We want this message cleared right now. We can need to do clear to because it's going to clear this message with the command as well. So we need to do clear to and it disappears. And then you of course can do clear clear 100 and everything here then should disappear. Uh, now only certain people can do it if you have the T mode mod uh, rank you can do it i have mod applications open right now 
so you can go and apply for moderator and you have going to have access to a lot of other cool stuff like banning and kicking and some other different cool commands okay man but now we are going to go into the next category of commands and those are music commands uh, so we need to join the music channel you can be in general but if any staff members notice that you are going to be disconnected from there because to listen to music you have to be in the music if you are playing any game or just wanting to chat with random people you can be in general of course but music only in music so to get started with playing music you need to do the command join and as you can see friendly helper joined and then we have to uh, give the bot something to play so we need to do play and then paste in I have already got some non copyright music like that uh, just a disclaimer I don't like this type of music but uh, this was the first thing I uh, sh that showed up when I searched for non copyrighted music just so you know uh, but yeah uh, the command I'm, or the software I'm using to compress uh, the music to a playable file is FFmpeg and I'm uh, doing the highest possible quality so it's it can take a bit of time uh, but don't worry, you will get there in the end. So, uh, um, there's also a queue command. Uh, like that, you can queue. Now, um, if you then want, you can of course queue whatever song you want. But unfortunately, the skip command is broken right now. So I can't show it off right now how that works. Of course, if we would to listen to the whole song, it would start playing again. Uh, but uh, we don't have time for that. I have a limited time uh, to record this. So uh, no. And it gets a bit laggy just for a bit when uh, the song gets added to the queue. But that's like for two seconds and then it goes back to playing. I know uh, if you're hearing me right now because the music uh, is spread loud. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's essentially how this works. And then of course you can use pause. And it pauses the music. And then you can do resume. resume and it's going to continue playing. And then I also believe there's a stop command and the music just completely stops. And then I like you to do, uh, if you don't want to listen to music anymore, I strongly recommend that you do leave. Uh, because the bot is going to be less laggy then. So now it left uh, the voice chat. Okay, uh, now we just have the mod commands left or the staff commands uh, they are pretty cool I must say also but yeah uh, to start with you ha we have a warn command so we can do warn I'm going to warn myself just for the sake of uh, this video and we need to input a reason and you won't be able to warn anyone without a reason so we'll warn uh, because uh, a good reason think test yes good reason so if you do this you can see that we get an embed warning and we get who was warned and the reason now the reason is test because I entered test but if we do like anything else as you can see we can do like this and then uh, 
for example, spamming in the chat. He will get warned after a bit. Uh, there's another cooldown on this uh, warning command, so you can't warn the same user multiple times. So yeah, and I just noticed I pinged the cybercoder role instead of myself as an individual, but that's fine. I'm going to clear uh, these commands. Oh, not 46. Oh, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, and then there's also kick and ban. I can't really show that, but you essentially do. Uh, you can kick and ban people. Nothing more complicated than you just do kick and at whoever you want to kick and You're good to go and also you need to input a reason for the ban or kick also And then there's also the lockdown command uh, So if we go to edit channel we can see permissions that everyone now has permission to send messages in this channel uh, this essentially is yes, but we have it here now for reasons. But okay, if we do, if if the whole situation is escalating, everyone is in panic, everyone is spamming and stuff. We can do the terror, the, the the scary lockdown command like that, and. As you can see, friendly help helper says that he has put this channel on lockdown. So if we go into settings here, you can see that everyone now have I don't have the permission to send messages. Now I'm admin and over the rank of everyone, so I am still able to chat here, but everyone else like or T mods and higher can chat, but everyone under that can't do it. So that's nice, I guess. And then we have one final command I want to show you, and that command is the giveaway command. Now, this giveaway command is actually pretty advanced, so we can do giveaway. And it's uh, going to come with an interactive guide. So we need to set what channel. And these are only, uh, as I said, uh, some people or admins and mods that can do. Uh, like 10 seconds and then air is the price of the giveaway. So if you go to giveaways, you need to react to this. And if someone else would react, they would also have a chance to win. But now it's only me that uh, is participating and as you can see, after 10 seconds, we get uh, congratulations Cybercoder won air. Then you of course can do giveaway, giveaway and do like any channel we could do it in. In this channel, for example, it doesn't have to be in the giveaways, but you're only allowed to do giveaways in around 10 days, for example, and then just air again, and it ends in 10 days. And now I'm going to uh, just cancel this giveaway, because, uh, yeah, uh, no one probably want air. I think and I know and I don't know how I would be able to send someone like air but uh, yeah you get the idea okay so I actually did some research and I found out that there's a company that actually sells can cannot air uh, I don't know uh, why but you probably see a screenshot on screen right now and um, it costs like 45 dollars for 10 liters of air like what now 
uh, for the sponsor. Uh, if you watch this for, uh, that's great, and I'm really, I'm, I'm, re I'm really grateful. So uh, now you are going to be rewarded with a five percent discount to the host sampling uh, servers. So as you can see we can order uh, some discord bot plans here so you can get 5% off any of these orders right here and uh, to do that you need to go to bot commands and do ticket now I'm not going to do this because they have as you can see a lot of people uh, sending this ticket command so I'm not going to take up an extra space uh, in their uh, ticket stuff thingy uh, but you essentially do that and you just type add to it and that hey I'd like to order for example plan 4 uh, and use the coupon code cyber 5 off all capital letters uh, the coupon code is probably on the screen right now but it's cyber 5 off and you can get uh, a 5% discount so uh, yeah you can get a better deal than uh, most other people but yeah guys that's that essentially sums everything up uh, thank you for watching this entire video uh, join my discord server right now uh, because discord nitro classic giveaway might be happening soon just saying <clears throat> uh, yeah join my discord uh, like and subscribe uh, to support me and yeah guys see you in the next video bye